God bless everybody today. How are you doing today? Well, we're back on another Sabbath, and we're having a Sabbath class for God's people. Now, what we want uh, to do right now, we're just waiting for people to come on the line and be with us. So let's give a, a few moments before we start our class. We're going to let people come on the line. Now, before we start this class, me and my wife, we're going to give a little prayer at this moment. While we're praying, people can be coming on the line and be live with us. Okay? God bless. Ahayu, Asher, Ahayu. You are the great I am that I am. And you've given us the only begotten Son, Yeshua, to die on the cross for our sins, that we may have a right to the tree of life. And Father, we just thank you right now for uh, this Sabbath class on tonight. We thank you, Lord God, that we will give your word and that we will teach your people what thus said the Lord. And Father, we just thank you right now that there will be no flesh glorified right now in the name of Yeshua. That we will lift you up and glorify you because you said in your word, if you be lifted up, we'll draw our man unto you. And now, Yeshua, we lift you up. We magnify your holy name right now. Speak your word through us right now. Use us for your glory that you may be magnified in the earth. That somebody will hear our voice today and, and, and come unto this knowledge and truth and salvation and we just magnify your name we glorify your holy name in the name of higher usher higher uh the great i am that i am and you've given us your only begotten son you shall your name we do pray we say amen and amen 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 we just thank the lord right now we're still waiting for people to come on uh we haven't uh, a strong signal right now. The signal is very strong right now, and we're thankful. Amen. 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 We got a little song for you. start in a few minutes. Thank you, Lord. We're going to start in a few minutes our class. We just let some more people come on board to be with us. Amen. Are you ready to go to Zion? Amen. Are you ready? Are you ready? to be lifted. Are you ready for our King, Yeshua, to come back to be with us? I'm ready. I'm excited and I'm ready. I know that we living in the last and evil days. We're living in the last and evil days. Well, time, well, time's more evil uh, than it ever been in, in life. Ever been in the world Time is, has changed. We're living in a time where people is doing all the things that they want to do right now in the earth. They're doing all the things right now that they, that, that they want to do in the earth. Except for lifting up Yeshua, which we call him Jesus in English. We do everything besides lifting up. The Father. Ahaya Asher Ahaya. And there are so many people today that says that they're born again believing, Bible believing Christians. They say that they love the Lord. They say they care about the Lord. But yet, why have not God revealed his name unto you? It's only because we don't seek the Lord. 
It's only because we don't know who he is. It's, it's, it's only because we have been deceived for over 400 years through slavery. We've been told uh, how to live, how what we should believe, what religion we should receive from the European. We've been told everything. But I want you to know tonight that the Lord wants to show you that the Sabbath is for real. Amen. And that the Sabbath should be worship. We should worship on the Sabbath, the day that God made holy and that he blessed. That is the true day that he made holy was the seventh day. And the seventh day is the day that he wants us to be able to rest, to learn, to teach, to research his word, to study uh, what thus said the Lord, you're supposed to do those things on Sabbath. Mm -hmm. And you also can do, you can help somebody that's in need. Okay? You can do good on the Sabbath. You can do good on the Sabbath. Jesus did good on the Sabbath. Jesus healed on the Sabbath. Okay? That's why we know that the Sabbath is very important to us today and it's more important than what we think it's more important than what we think okay so we, what we're going to do we know that there are some not with us right now but we that's okay we're going to record the message and we're going to share the video and those that hear me right now i'm asking you to share the video so that others can can learn from this video what thus said the Lord about the Sabbath. That we don't want to be the only one who learn about the Sabbath. We want to be able to share the good news. Huh? Amen. We're supposed to share the good news. Mm -hmm. Not keep it to ourselves. Not just only give it to just our immediate family. But we're supposed to give that that that, that good news, the mm -hmm. joy of the Lord, the the knowledge of the Lord, the truth of the Lord, mm -hmm. we're supposed to give that to to the world. Amen. To all the world. He said, go out to all the world and preach the gospel. Amen. See, we're supposed to go out and teach and we go out and, 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 and pray for people. And we do all those things on the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. But on the Sabbath, we do not do what we want to do. We are to please him. Okay, mm -hmm. and everything that we do. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Now, what we're gonna do? We're gonna go and start our class, and we're gonna teach this lessons, mm -hmm. and whatever the Lord sell body, how He bless us, we're gonna do it. After we do it, then we'll be done. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're not gonna prolong the time just because we want to. And I don't always want to say what I think or feel. Mm -hmm. I want to be able to give you. What mm -hmm. thus said the Lord. Amen. Okay. Mm -hmm. We thank you sister. Uh, uh, we see you online. Mm -hmm. We thank God for you. You're in with us. Mm -hmm. And uh, you made it just in time. For we start. And we have a good strong signal right now. So hopefully that we'll be able to finish this class. We're glad to have you in our Sabbath class. And others will come on later. But don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. Stay and hear what thus said the Lord. Amen. So you won't get just part of the message. You'll get the whole message. Okay? Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Now, we've already, we already have uh, opened up and prayed uh, for the, the class. We already prayed. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go into uh, the Word. Okay? Mm -hmm. God bless you today. The name of this topic is the Sabbath have not changed, part three. We have been preaching about the Sabbath for the last few uh, Sabbath class because the Sabbath, it has so, so much information. The Sabbath has so much information that you cannot get it out in one Sabbath class. You cannot. Mm -hmm. To to know and find out about the, 
the, the, the, the, the word of the Lord about the Sabbath, you're going to have to research and it's, you're going to find out there's much to know that we don't know today. There is much information that you have to learn. There is much knowledge that you have to gain. You have to do much researching because you, you need to know it's just not a, a easy thing to learn of the Most High. It's just not easy. The Word ha it has deeper depths in it. Deeper depths. And most people are still on milk when it should be eating meat. Most people is still on milk when it should be eating meat. When they have been in church for a long time and they yet don't know about the Sabbath. So it's more important, importantly to let you know that the church is not a building. The, the church is in the hearts and the soul of people. That's the real church. Not the building or the edifices that we have today that is big and glory. Glorious. Mm -hmm. That when you walk into them, you say, wow, this is a beautiful place. The Lord must be in this place. That's not true. Mm -hmm. That's not true. You may have a, a beautiful church, but it doesn't mean that the Lord is in it. Mm -hmm. there, it, it, it. It be a lot of people, uh, uh, a lot of dry bones be in the church today. A lot of people that's deceived. That don't know what thus said the Lord. And they'll never teach you what the Sabbath is. They'll teach you only what they know. Okay? Only what they've been taught. Only that. They cannot teach the Sabbath. Because the Sabbath was a tradition that Christ kept. So they could not teach it. And if you have a 50C3 uh, uh, license to start a church. You, you cannot preach. You cannot preach about the Sabbath. Only what they ask you to preach about love mm -hmm. and those things, how Christ uh, loved all of us and loved the world and all of those things. But it's deeper than what you can imagine the Bible is. Mm -hmm. The word is deeper. And so we're going to get a little bit more knowledge about the Sabbath. The Sabbath have not changed. Part three. Mm -hmm. Part three. And this is the last Sabbath uh, uh, we're going to talk about. The last Sabbath message. So get your pencil, get your pen, mm -hmm. get your paper, and get your Bible. Get your Bible so you can write down what these scriptures are. And when we, when we, when we tell you what it is, uh, it's going to be typed right there in the comment section. The scripture. So you can be able to know what it is. The scripture. Okay? Mm -hmm. The precept. Okay, now let's go to our word now. We're going to begin uh, at Colossians, the second chapter, the 16th and the 17th verse. Colossians, the, si the second chapter, the 16th and the 17th verse. Are you right there? No, here. Colossians, the second chapter, the 16th and the 17th verse. If you got to say amen. amen. Okay, now we're going to begin to read. Second Colossians, the, the, I mean Colossians, the second chapter and the 16th verse. And it reads, Let no man therefore judge you in meat, or in drink, or in respect of a holy day, or of the new moon, or of the Sabbath day, okay, which are a shadow of things to come, but 
the body is of Christ. The Sabbath, he said, Paul said, mm -hmm. let no man, mm -hmm. let nobody mm -hmm. judge you. Judge you of the meat. You know, he's talking about uh, they eat a certain type of uh, meat uh, on the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. He said, don't let nobody judge you about that, that you don't you don't eat pork. Don't let nobody judge that, that you don't eat the thing that's unclean before the Lord. Paul said, don't let them judge you mm -hmm. uh, what you eat and what you drink. Mm -hmm. He said, do not. He said, uh, in our in a respect of a holy day. Now, God gave his children, the Israelites, the Hebrew Israelites, he only gave the Hebrew Israelites the holy days. There is no such thing in the Bible as holiday. There is no such thing. They have taught us wrong. They have told us wrong. Your parent taught you wrong. Your, your father taught you wrong. You know, your church taught you wrong. There's no such thing as any holiday in the Bible. None. You won't find it. Look them up. The only holiday, only day that the Lord Most High spoke about was the uh, uh, going out and cutting the tree out of the forest and making it uh, as a God that you worship. Okay, that's the only day. And all all other days uh, will be called hol uh, holidays. They don't exist. But he has given us, the Hebrew Israelites, mm -hmm. he given us the holy days. Okay. Now, we have many different holy days, uh, many different uh, traditional holy days and custom that the Hebrew Israelites, they practice. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we're going to learn about that as well, but I won't tell you about them all yet um, about just all the holy days okay but we're gonna talk about that too as well okay he said uh, are of the new moons see moon was used like a calendar it tells you like when Sabbath and all the other things a feast ought to take place or whatever God or whatever month and time or season that it is Okay, and then the most importantly, at the end of that 16th verse, he said, uh, it are of the Sabbath day. Mm -hmm. See, the Sabbath day is important. Paul, the disciples, and all of them, they honored the Sabbath day. Mm -hmm. They honored the Sabbath day. They, they did the Sabbath, and they also taught on the Sabbath, they went into the synagogue and they began to teach on the Sabbath uh, about the word of the Lord and what God required of you. But right now, he requires of you to learn the Sabbath so you'll know that the Sabbath is important and that it ain't, it ain't, it, it, it is, is not to be taken um, lightly. It is not to be taken for granted. It is something that you must honor it because that day is holy unto the Lord. And that day is holy unto his children. Okay. Now, he says so. Now, look look at that. Look at that um, 17th verse. Which are a shadow of the things to come. But the body is of Christ. It's a shadow of things to come. You know, Christ already let us know there are going to be many mm -hmm. uh, uh, things happening in our world. Mm -hmm. Okay? But it's just a shadow. See, when you, when, when you worship the Sabbath mm -hmm. and you start learning, you're going to find out some mysteries, mm -hmm. what God has said to us. He will reveal some things to you mm -hmm. in the present, mm -hmm. but it also reveals some things to you in the future. Mm -hmm. When you start studying, you have to take out some time to start studying the word of the Lord to know what he means. That's why he gives you the Sabbath so you can learn of him, that you can teach your children about it, huh? Amen. That you can teach your children about what does say the Lord, mm -hmm. that you can teach your family, mm -hmm. husband, you can teach your wife 
Why you can teach your children? That's what you do on the Sabbath. You need to be reading the Bible and learning what thus said the Lord. So you won't be deceived. So you won't be misled when you go to church. That if you hear your pastor preaching something that is not totally right, you would you would know because you have read uh, uh, what the Bible said and you have re gained knowledge Amen. and you know truth and you will find out that you will start researching and 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 things for yourself because you don't get you're not going to get uh, the knowledge out of the church mm -hmm. like you think you would. Just a religion. And you become religious. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now our next scripture. Coming from. Leviticus. 23 and 32. Leviticus. 23 and 32. Okay. Right after Exodus, Leviticus 23 and 32. Okay? Let's start reading. It shall be unto you a Sabbath of rest. You see, that's why us. Hebrew Israelites, we have to rest. Mm -hmm. We have to rest just like the Most High rest after he created mm -hmm. the world uh, in seven days. Mm -hmm. He created the world in six days mm -hmm. and he rest on the seventh. Amen. He said for us to rest. It shall be unto you a Sabbath of rest and ye shall afflict your soul. And the ninth day of the month, as even from even unto even, shall you celebrate the Sabbath. He said, from evening to evening shall you celebrate the Sabbath. Okay, from Friday, 6.30 p.m., I don't care where you're at over the world, on, at, on every Friday at 6.30 p.m. until Saturday 6.30 p.m., that is the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. And you are to observe it. You are to, to celebrate mm -hmm. the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. You are to celebrate the Sabbath because the mm -hmm. Sabbath is important to God. And once you have the knowledge and you know what thus said the Lord, mm -hmm. you know it's important to God, mm -hmm. you would celebrate it mm -hmm. because you know it's a day of rest. Mm -hmm. After you have went through all all week long, mm -hmm. doing what you need to do mm -hmm. to take care of yourself, mm -hmm. working, okay, mm -hmm. earning that dollar bill, mm -hmm. working uh, hard on your job, sweat, blood, mm -hmm. and tears, yeah. and and being threatened to be fired, and 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 you got still come to work on time, and and some of us. Uh, get where we, we work and then next thing you know we miss days and we miss so many days they tell us that you miss one more day you're going to get fired so you got to still come to work with all that pressure Amen. huh mm -hmm. trying to work hard for the men mm -hmm. but I want you to know tonight mm -hmm. are you working hard oh, yes. to gain knowledge about the Sabbath mm -hmm. are you researching mm -hmm. so you would know are you celebrating it? It's a day of celebration Amen. to his people. Mm -hmm. Because you know that God made it for you. Yep. So you and your family will come together. You will come together and, and you will already prepare your meal on Thursday. You already prepare your meal when you get out of work on Thursday. Mm -hmm. you, you fix enough food to, to have leftovers mm -hmm. so you can serve those leftovers on uh, the Sabbath, mm -hmm. that is how it's worship. Mm -hmm. You are supposed to do this every Sabbath, and you cannot be cooking mm -hmm. on a Sabbath. Oh, yeah? That is a fact. Mm -hmm. You cannot be cooking on a Sabbath. You cannot be working on a Sabbath. You cannot. Mm -hmm. Because if you do those things, you're honoring mm -hmm. man. Mm 
and you're dishonoring God. Because you're saying to God's word, the Sabbath don't exist. Mm -hmm. You're saying that I don't have enough faith mm -hmm. to do it. I have to do to survive for my family. So I got to get out there and work like the Lord doesn't know mm -hmm. that you have to work. Yes. The Lord knows you have to work. But he said, what in the Bible? Mm -hmm. Seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and, and all of his righteousness get sure. all of his knowledge and all these other things shall be added unto you Amen. it shall be when you stand in faith to believe what god said about your sabbath and you stand on it and you want to do it and you start doing it god tells you that he gonna bless you he gonna bless you why because the sabbath is holy mm -hmm. amen he holy the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. And he did what? He mm -hmm. hollowed it. Mm -hmm. So that day is hollowed. The Sabbath day is a holy day unto the Lord. That is the only day that he 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 sanctified it. That is the only day that is sanctified amongst his children. Mm -hmm. That is the only day that sanctified mm -hmm. that when we obey the Sabbath, yes. You'll see that you'll see that God start doing some things in your life because you're obeying the Sabbath and not men. Amen. That you're obeying it and you're not doing what they taught you mm -hmm. in society. You're not doing what the white man taught you Amen. a long time ago mm -hmm. after he defeated Israel and conquered Israel mm -hmm. and then begin to reteach Israel mm -hmm. to break the Sabbath, Amen. to dishonor the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. He taught Israel Israel. Uh, Constantine, he taught Israel how to break the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. He told them mm -hmm. that you work now mm -hmm. on the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. And on Sunday, you take your day of rest on the Sunday. Mm -hmm. It is a sun God. Yep. Okay? It is a sun God. I see you, my son, that you came on. Okay, uh, he said that you should, at the end of that uh, 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 verse, he said, celebrate your Sabbath. You're supposed to be celebrating the Sabbath. You're supposed to be celebrating it. You're supposed to be celebrating. Whatever that's important to men, they celebrate. Amen. Whatever that's important with men, they celebrate. Every holiday has an importance to it. Yep. Every holiday. Has an it has something that's connected with it mm -hmm. that makes it important mm -hmm. to the world. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. They give you Christmas. Huh? They give you these holidays that really are pagan days. Mm -hmm. They are not holidays that God gave you. God gave you Holy Day. They gave you Easter and then started tied in connection with the bunny mm -hmm. huh so you start buying easter eggs and mm -hmm. you start doing those things that's a pagan mm -hmm. a day these bunny uh uh having eggs and we know that no easter bunny mm -hmm. have eggs mm -hmm. huh mm -hmm. there's none mm -hmm. so we we are being taught these fables to us by the european mm -hmm. we have because they teach the and they dominate the world. Well, this emperor, Constantine, changed the Sabbath. I want to show you uh, yeah. about how he changed the Sabbath. Okay? Now, I'm going to let you see this. Okay? We have documents that show you that Emperor Constantine changed the Sabbath. That's him on the picture. Now, hear what it says. See? Now, we have documentation. Now, I'm going to have my wife to read the, uh, the two paragraphs from here to there. You ready? <laughs> well, I guess my wife is busy doing other things. Well, I'm going to read it for you. It reads, Sunday 
was another work day. Now, you see this? It says Sunday was another work day. Sunday is not the seventh day. Sunday is the first day of the week, not the seventh day. Now, Constantine was a Roman emperor. He was a Roman emperor. He took over Jerusalem, and he took over, and he dominated most of the world. And so, at the Council of Nicaea, they got together, and they began to change the doctrine of the Christian world. They changed the doctrine, they changed the calendar, they changed the days. Okay, now let me finish reading this paragraph. You can look this up. You can go on, on online, on the internet, and just look up Constantine. Uh, uh, change the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. And when you look that up, you're going to see it. Constantine changed the Sabbath. That's all you got to do. And you will have your proof. I have it here, but you need to get it. And I'm going to share some of it so you can see it as well. Now let me finish reading. Sunday was another work day. Sunday was a work day. Mm -hmm. Okay? It was not a Sabbath day. It was not a day of worship. A day of rest like we're doing it today. See, we've been taught lies. We've been told lies. Sunday is not a day of worship. Saturday is the day of worship. It's a true holy day. But they, the European came in, Constantine that we read about came in and changed it. Now, let me finish reading what he said. I'm going to finish reading all of it before I speak. Okay. Sunday was another work day in the Roman Empire. On March the 7th, uh, 321, however, Roman Emperor Constantine mm -hmm. I, uh, uh, I issued a civil decree making Sunday a, a day of rest from labor, mm -hmm. stating. He said, I, I'm going to change it. We're going to start, he put out a decree that we're going to make Sunday mm -hmm. the day of rest. Oh, yeah. Okay? From your labor. Sunday, he made it. Mm -hmm. he, he said, stating, this is what his actual words, his actual words, all judges and city people, in of the craftsmen shall rest upon the vulnerable day of the sun. Mm -hmm. See, it's the day, he said, he's going to let you rest on the day of the sun. That's Sunday. That was a sun god that they worshipped, okay? Uh, uh, he said the country people, however, may freely attend to the cultivation of the field. He said you can still work in the field. See, God told us not to work in the field, do no work. But he said you can work in the field. See, he told, he told the country people, you can work in the field, okay? Making them profane the Sabbath. Making them break the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. Okay. Look what else he said. Because it freely happens that no other day are better adapt for planting the grain and the fruit or the vines and Trench. trenches. Mm -hmm. So that the advantage given by heavenly providence may not for the occasion... Or of short time parish. He made it the Sabbath on a Sunday. He made Sabbath on a Sunday. Constantine, the emperor, when he took over the world, he began to change the Sabbath. He made man break the Sabbath because the tradition of the, and the customs of the Sabbath was only held by the Hebrew Israelite that was in Israel. Mm -hmm. They promised land, Canaan. Mm -hmm. And they worshiped the Sabbath religiously. They didn't break it every day. But Constantine, when they came in in 70 AD and began to wipe out mm -hmm. the people, they began to bring a new doctrine mm -hmm. that men never heard. Oh, yeah. A new doctrine. That they church talked about. Mm -hmm. And that they church, which was a Roman Catholic church, they church began to teach people mm -hmm. 
they had the priests to go out in all the world and all the nations and countries and everywhere just like today. Mm -hmm. They have been in every country teaching Catholicism. Mm -hmm. Every church, the Roman Catholic Church, or what we call today the white man is in every place in the world. Mm -hmm. Every place. Mm -hmm. Every place have been the world has been given to the hands of the wicked. For the everyone teaching people to break the Sabbath. Are you breaking the Sabbath today? Are you worshiping the Sabbath? You're gonna do one of them. Man ain't gonna tell you to break the Sabbath just like Constantine. Constantine said it was good. It's no better day than the, than the uh, uh, work, the fields on the Sabbath, which was on Saturday. See, so he said, because we were, he thought that the men was lazy, the, the Hebrew Israelite was lazy, and they just want to keep the tradition and sleep mm -hmm. and rest. But you see, you don't only just uh, sleep, but you study and you research. Mm -hmm. He didn't want them to do that, the Hebrew Israelite. And remember, Hebrew Israelites is all over the world. Mm -hmm. Okay? And every part of Africa, mm -hmm. Hebrew Israelites are in Africa. Mm -hmm. Let me just show you this so you could know that the Hebrew Israelites are everywhere over the world. And when they was attacked in 70 AD, mm -hmm. they moved out uh, from Israel mm -hmm. into different parts of Africa. Okay, and I'm going to show you this. This is when uh, it's called the transatlantic slave trade. If you can see this real good, you will see where they came out of Israel and went to different parts of the earth of Africa. Some of them went, you can see they went to the right, mm -hmm. and when they went, they went all the way to uh, uh, Nigeria and those places. Mm -hmm. And when they went to the left, they went all the way down mm -hmm. to uh, 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 Kenya, Ghana, and all the way down uh, to South Africa. Mm -hmm. This is the this is the map of that. This is the real map of that of the slave of the slave when they fled from uh, from Constantine. Mm -hmm. Okay, when they fled fled from Alexander the Great. Mm -hmm. So what happened was we moved down. Now let's go to another scripture. Now he tell us that uh, uh, look at that. Look at that, uh, that 35th verse. Leviticus 2. Leviticus uh, 6 and uh, the 35th verse. On the first day shall thou be at holy convocation. Mm -hmm. Ye shall do no severe work therein. Mm -hmm. He didn't want you to do no work. Okay? He said don't do no work. Don't do what you want to do. Mm -hmm. Okay? You have to do what the Lord say do. You have to rest, study, research His word, teach His word. Mm -hmm. And if there's any time that somebody needs your help mm -hmm. and they really need it, you can go help them. Because mm -hmm. God is love. And He mm -hmm. wants us to show love mm -hmm. uh, to our brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, we're going to go to another word. Uh, precept is... is uh, Acts, Acts 17 and 2. Acts 17 and 2. You ready? You want to read this? No, but two is Okay. Okay. Acts 17 and 2. And it reads, And Paul, as his manner was, went in unto them, and three Sabbath days reasoned with them out of the scripture. Paul, he went unto them on three Sabbath days. He went for three Sabbaths. He went. He went to them, he reasoned with them out of the
the scripture. See, you, 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 he, he, he was reasoning with them out of the scripture, teaching them. Okay? You have to learn. You have to teach. You have to study. Paul went out there on which day? The Sabbath day. Mm -hmm. See, the Sabbath is all over our Bible. Mm -hmm. Most of us just don't know. The Sabbath is all over, mm -hmm. all in the word of the Lord. From the Old Testament unto the New and even Revelation. Mm -hmm. Even Revelation. Even Revelation. The, it, the Sabbath is still practiced, it's still honored, mm -hmm. and it's still worshipped. And it's mean for us to do it mm -hmm. on the Sabbath at our time. Mm -hmm. It have not changed. It have not been done away, they, done away with oh, yes. by men. It have not. Men try to do away with it. Constantine tried to do away with it. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we've been taught. Our parents failed teaching us about the Sabbath. The church failed teaching us about the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. So we failed the Sabbath. And many of us have failed the Sabbath for a long time and don't know it. Mm -hmm. You have been you, you you have been taught wrong today. Mm -hmm. That is the fault of your pastor. That is the fault of your leader. Those that say they supposed to know the word of God. And you have bishops that don't even know uh, that the Sabbath is still important today. And they'll tell you this, this fictitious gospel that it don't exist. That it was done back in those days. Jesus, he broke the Sabbath as well. Jesus began to eat corn on the Sabbath. You know, hey, look, don't you know that that was corn? And don't you know that he was out teaching? And don't you know that when he was out teaching, he got hungry? See, God didn't say we could not eat on the Sabbath. So when he was out there teaching, they was coming, they saw corn. And so since all the disciples that was following him, and, and they began to pluck corn and eat it. They was not working. Okay? They was not working. Working would be a hard person that's out there picking corn to sell. They was not trying to sell corn. They was eating corn. Okay? So he didn't really break the Sabbath. Like they taught you he did. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now. Let's go on now. On on the three Sabbaths. He taught the scriptures unto them. He reasoned. Mm -hmm. He tried to make them understand. What the Lord was saying about the, about the Sabbath. Make them understand about the words of the Lord. Salvation and all those other things. That we today, we fail. We fail to honor that Sabbath. And we fail to teach that Sabbath. Okay? Now we're going to go to the book of Revelation. Revelations. The 14th chapter and the 12th verse. Now I want you to know that. That the laws... Commandments and statutes of God, they have not been done away with. The commandment has not been done away with. If if the commandments was done away with, mm -hmm. there wouldn't if they were done away with, we would have to honor the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. Because if the commandment was done away with, there was no Sabbath we have to take. So if the Sabbath is done away with, then the word is done away with. Because the Sabbath is in the Word. The commandment is in the Word. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to tell you this. The, uh, if we didn't have the Word and knowledge of the Word, we wouldn't, we wouldn't even know what sin was. Because, because the Bible tells us what sin is. Mm -hmm. The Bible tells us what not to do and what we can do. Mm -hmm. He gave us holy days, not holidays. Mm -hmm. Okay? Holy days... It, you know, it's, it's a lot of holy days that we're supposed to come together mm -hmm. 
as a people that we're supposed to, to, to do different celebrations and eat and, and all those things and learn and speak the scriptures and, and, and get familiar with one another and all those things. It's not like, you know, the world. The world have taken holidays as a tradition and make you worship those days, even though those days are pagans. The pagans invented it. Roman, Roman Catholic wanted to have more people in the church, so they began to adapt the paganism of the pagans. Mm -hmm. Put their practice into their church policies. Okay? And then start teaching the people to do it. Okay? okay. Now, we're going to go to another scripture. And that's in Revelations, the 14th chapter and the 12th verse. The 14th chapter and the 12th verse. Let me show you that the commandments are not done away with. Okay? If the commandments is not done away with, then the Sabbath is not done away with. Okay? Now, let's read. Here is the patience of the saints. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. Here are they, okay? The angel was telling him, John, on the Alam of Padma. He was a Padma, and he was getting to tell them, he said, here are they, okay? He said, this is the patient of the saints. You know, the, the ones who have died or uh, are uh, waiting on Christ to come back. Because he said he's going to come back. Them who have died. Them who have went on before us. Was waiting on a promise. To come. and But didn't see it. They died. He said they, so they died waiting. So they are waiting now. Mm -hmm. Okay. In, turn, in the eternal life. They're waiting. You just don't see them. You just can't talk to them. Mm -hmm. But they're waiting. He said this is their patient. He said here are they that keep. The commandment. He said, here they is. That keep the commandments. He was showing uh, a, a John. He said, here are they that do what? Keep the, keep the commandment. Mm -hmm. And believe in God. Mm -hmm. Have faith in God. These are them. Mm -hmm. That have faith. They keep the commandments. Mm -hmm. I want you to ask yourself a question right now. Mm -hmm. Do you keep the commandments? Do you keep the laws mm -hmm. and, and statutes? Mm -hmm. Do you know them to, mm -hmm. today? Do you know them? Have you studied and researched to know what it is? Mm -hmm. Not just the, the simple watered down gospel that you get in church. Mm -hmm. It's a deeper debt than that. Mm -hmm. There's a surface and there's depth. It's just like the ocean. You have some places in the ocean, uh, it's very shallow. Huh? But you got some places in the ocean that is very deep. And some places in the ocean are really very deep. Mm -hmm. Deep. You got to go down. And when you go down that, that far, you get so much pressure. Mm -hmm. So get into the word. And then when you begin to get into the word, mm -hmm. then you're going to get so much pressure mm -hmm. from Satan. Amen. So much pressure mm -hmm. from men. Mm -hmm. So much pressure you will get from your husband. Mm -hmm. So much pressure you will get from your wife. Mm -hmm. So much pressure you will even get pressure from your own children that came out of your belly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you start getting in the word and obeying the commandments, mm -hmm. you're going to see some things happen in your life. Mm -hmm. Your life will begin to change around you and you won't do those things that God don't like. You won't do those things just because the world doing them. Mm -hmm. You won't do them mm -hmm. because you know what does say the Lord in his commandment. Mm -hmm. They're not done away with. Mm -hmm. In Revelation said, they kept the commandments. Are you tonight or here 
it's night and there in America is day. Mm -hmm. Are you one that set out to keep the commandment no matter what? Mm -hmm. Are you one that can stand up there just like when he showed John, the, the angel showed John the saints. Mm -hmm. He showed the saints and he began to say, them are they mm -hmm. that kept the commandments. Mm -hmm. I want to be one of those that keep the commandments of God. Yeah. I want to be one of those that God can say, Well done, thy good and faithful servant. Amen. Well done, my son, thy good and faithful. Well done, my daughter, thy good and faithful servant. You kept the commandments. You kept the law. Mm -hmm. You kept the statutes of my word. Mm -hmm. You walked in it every day. Mm -hmm. You lived it every day. Amen. You lived it on your job. You 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 lived it around people who didn't like you. Mm -hmm. Amen. You lived it around family, and family sometimes don't even be holy. Mm -hmm. Just worldly family. You lived it before them, and they looked at you. And they talked about you. They couldn't understand you keeping the Sabbath. They said, "What? You can't come out your house on Saturday, mm -hmm. girl? Don't you know?" Mm -hmm. That we go party on Saturday, you gonna miss the party. You gonna miss the we. You, you know what? Uh, uh, what that guy named that saying a lot of times that was convinced being a child molester. Mm -hmm. What's his name? Aunt Carrie. Uh -huh. uh, what, what's his name? Yeah, it was Carrie. What the is? Musician? No, the guy that's singer, that's singer. Yeah, that is. The black guy? Uh, carry. What? Say it. Say it loud. I'll carry. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> my wife have such a good accent. <laughs> um, but he was a singer, and it doesn't matter what the world say. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter what they teach you. Mm -hmm. It it doesn't matter. They gonna talk about you. They gonna criticize your name when you learn this truth. They ain't going to criticize your name most of the time when you're just being a, a simple Christian. Mm -hmm. When you're being just a simple, they won't criticize your name. Mm -hmm. But when you start being the law of the Sabbath and doing what God say do and 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 what and do what he say not to do, they're going to get mad when you can't come to the club. Your very own friend that you may have grew up with, mm -hmm. they get mad. They're going to say, you ain't going to come uh, uh, go dancing with us when we know that R. Kelly. Kirk Franklin. Oh, uh, R. Kelly. Or Kirk Franklin. Franklin yep. You know, breaking the Sabbath. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> they they have church uh, 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 things on the Sabbath where you go and worship on the Sabbath, mm -hmm. on that Friday night. Mm -hmm. R. Kelly, he might be singing and, and you go out and worship him. Okay? Those are idols. Any entertainers in the world today we live in are entertainers or idols. Amen. What did they have a program coming in America? American Idol. They are idols. You look up unto them. You sometimes we obey what they sing. Huh? Mm -hmm. If they talk about, oh, get that woman, I'm gonna get that woman, I'm gonna get that woman. <laughs> And it'll get in your spirit, and then you'll start looking for love. Mm -hmm. You'll start looking. Mm -hmm. You'll start looking for love. And guess what? Satan mm -hmm. uh, had them to design that music, put that spirit in that music, and that spirit sink into the hearts of those that listen. Mm -hmm. And then, before you know it, you'll begin to start mimicking it and doing it. Mm -hmm. Some of them are doing it right now. They do it on a Friday day of the Sabbath. Right now. There's some right now getting ready to go party. And in America, it is Saturday the Sabbath. Getting ready to go party in America. Getting ready to get drunk. Some of you already drunk. You don't wait till they get into the evening. You start drinking mm -hmm. Saturday morning. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. You start going out and shopping. Start buying clothes for the family. Start washing your cars to make sure they clean for Sunday. You start you start buying things that you need for the house. Huh? You always take time for yourself to do your own pleasures.
but you will not do what thus said the Lord. Mm -hmm. It's the Beatles commandment mm -hmm. and honor my Sabbath. Amen. Because the Sabbath is the day that is holy. Mm -hmm. No other day on our calendar where God said it was holy. No other day from, from the first of the month to the 30th of the month, there's no other day that God said it was holy mm -hmm. and he hollered it. He hallowed it. And so hallowed it means sanctified. Mm -hmm. He sanctifies that day. Mm -hmm. And whenever you begin to obey the Sabbath, truly, you will begin to get sanctified. Amen. Because the day is holy. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now let's go to our next scripture. And it's coming from, we see Revelation mm -hmm. talks about the Sabbath. And it talks about them obeying. The commandment. When you obey the commandment, you obey the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. They all go together. They are commandment. Uh, what thus said the Lord. Mm -hmm. They are commandments. When he said honor the Sabbath. It is the fourth commandment. He said honor the Sabbath and keep it holy. So it is a commandment. So when they kept the commandment back in Revelation, they, they kept the Sabbath as well. Because it is a commandment. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, let's go to our next scripture. Romans. Coming from Romans 3.20. Romans 3.20. 3 mm -hmm. Third chapter, 20 verse. Mm -hmm. Third chapter and 20 verse. Now, notice this about these precepts. These precepts are coming from the Bible. I'm not reading all over the place. And all different, you know, there's a lot of precepts that's in other books. The Apocrypha is great. That is the book that was in the Bible. The King uh, 1611 uh, version of the Bible have the Apocrypha in it. So, obviously, it was uh, uh, true words of God as well. And now, we know that who took it from the Bible, mm -hmm. it was the Roman Catholic Church who took uh, the Apocrypha from the Bible. Mm -hmm. Because the Apocrypha reveals things that the Bible mm -hmm. don't reveal. Mm -hmm. You see, because uh, in between the Old Testament and the New Testament, you had the Apocrypha. Mm -hmm. That was that empty space. Mm -hmm. Okay? Because the Apocrypha have many other books. Ezra, 2nd Ezra, 1st Ezra. You know, it have many other books. Mm -hmm. Tobit. And all those kind of books, those those things was telling us, mm -hmm. telling his Hebrew Israelites that all the things that was taking place during that time. Mm -hmm. So what we was taught in church, mm -hmm. they was not, they was not, they was not, uh, what we, they was not honoring the Sabbath. We we, we was we was taught that it wasn't important. Okay, but my wife was giving me something else. I just want to show you this little bit about uh, the Sabbath, okay, and the reading. You can go to Wikipedia and find this information. Now, we have another information, okay? Uh, it's called the Sabbath and Christianity. Look. It's called Sabbath and Christianity. And I want you to hear this. I'm going to read just a, a little part of it. Just to be able to show you uh, about the Sabbath and how important it is mm -hmm. to men. That, that the Europeans, they knew of the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. Okay? So it's written in Wikipedia. It's true. Okay? Now. It said the Sabbath in Christianity is a in conclusion or adoption of of Christianity uh, or of a Sabbath day established within Judaism through the Masonic law. Christians inherit a, a Sabbath practice that reflects two great precepts: the commandment to remember the Sabbath day, keep it holy, uh, and God's blessing of the Sabbath day. Saturday, as a day of rest in the Genesis of creation narrative. The first one of these provisions was 
perversion, perversion was associated in Judaism with the assembly of the people to worship in the temple in Jerusalem or the synagogue. The position now, the position now dominate in Western Christian Christianity is that observed of the Lord's Day, Sunday. See, he said, the position now dominate in Western, Western Christianity is that observance of the Lord's Day, Sunday. Supplanted or super, su superseded the Sabbath celebration. It, Sunday was supplanted and it superseded the Sabbath. See, the Western society, it says the Western Christianity. See, when you say you're a Christian, they were a Christian. Christ, they invented Christianity. The Roman Catholic invented Christianity. Okay? They invented it. So, therefore, when they saw that the Israelites, right, the, they was worshiping the Sabbath, they feel like that their day of worship was paganism, was on the pagan pagan Sunday. They said that the West Christians said that they're going to observe the Lord's Day on a Sunday. So when they begin to all start doing it, and, and they, they start teaching men to do it, if you didn't honor it, they would kill you. So all men started teaching their children, you know, you're going to get killed if you don't learn this, this day. We got to start going to church on Sunday. So they started making them go to church on Sunday. And so Sunday began to supplant or supersede the Sabbath celebration. And it says, it says Sabbath celebration. Sabbath was a celebration. See, look what it said. In that uh, former celebration, the Christian community delivered from a uh, captive to sin, Satan in worldly possession made possible by the resurrection on the first day of the week. Christianity observed the seventh day with prayer and rest, but they got got they also gathered on the first day by the 14th century. Christian was officially observing the first day, Sunday, after a day of rest, not the seventh. In the, in the 17th century. Mm -hmm. they The Christians started worshiping mm -hmm. the Sabbath on a Sunday instead mm -hmm. of the Sabbath celebration. And you can look on the Wikipedia for, for what I got right here called the Sabbath Christianity. Mm -hmm. Like I said before, Roman Catholic Church was paganism. Mm -hmm. They were a pagan. They practiced pagan. With Constantine, the Emperor Constantine, he had become a Christian. He adopted what the Pope a religion. Mm -hmm. He adopted the Roman Catholic religion and he had became a Christian. You know the Roman Catholic Church is they are a Christian denomination a Christian denomination and these are the people who break the Sabbath mm -hmm. and they made us break the Sabbath the true Hebrew Israelite break the Sabbath Amen. okay mm -hmm. he made them break the Sabbath so they started worshiping on a Sunday. And all the churches today, all the churches today worship on a Sunday. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. That's why you worship on a Sunday. Okay? Mm -hmm. Christianity is pagan. And I'm so sorry to tell you. It's pagan. When they decide to teach you that you have to worship on a Sunday, you they had to give you something in Roman Catholic as a savior. They had to give you something as a savior. They had to give you somebody as a savior. Mm -hmm. See, when they killed Christ, when they killed him and hung him on a cross, mm -hmm. they began to look and say, we got a savior. Mm -hmm. They took our savior, Yeshua, 
We call him Jesus in today's time. Mm -hmm. And they took him and they began to create him. Mm -hmm. His image unto their image. Mm -hmm. the, his image unto their. He was no longer mm -hmm. a Hebrew Israelite. He was no longer a black Hebrew Israelite. Mm -hmm. They made him white. Okay. Then they had to give him a face. Mm -hmm. See, God, you got to have a face. That's why today all religion, all churches have a face. Yep. Usually, pastor and their wife mm -hmm. is a face, mm -hmm. huh? Yep. They sit up and make posters, and when they both make a poster, they both look at it smiling. Uh -huh. This is the Christian denomination, the church. This is the worldwide church, <laughs> and they go. And they have that picture on billboards <laughs> everywhere. And every church has a face. Usually of the pastor and their wife. Okay? They have their picture. That, that's the face of it. Well, that uh, it, the Roman Catholic have to have a face. Now, I'm going to show y'all this. These stuff you can look up in uh, uh, the, uh, the, the internet. Okay? Look what it says. This Caesar Borgia. Is the image you seen as Jesus Christ? I'm gonna show y'all some facts. Jesus was a black man. He was not European. Okay. Now let's show you this picture. This is Cedric Brozier. This is the man that they created to look like Christ. Mm -hmm. For him to look like he was Christ. Okay? This is Cedric Brozier. Okay? That's the man they gave the face mm -hmm. to what they call their Christ. Now, let's get back to some more precepts. Mm -hmm. Romans 3 and 20. Romans 3 and 20. Roman 3 and 20. Put that down. Roman 3 and 20, it says this. Therefore, by the deeds of the law, there shall no flesh be justified in his sight. For by the law is the knowledge of sin. Mm -hmm. See, so he's saying that, see, your deeds is what you do. Mm -hmm. But if your deeds is not keeping the commandment, if your deeds is not doing right, mm -hmm. then you're not justified. Some people think that just because they're in a Christian church, they, is, they are justified mm -hmm. saying that they're religious. Okay? That's not enough. That's not enough. You have to keep the commandments, laws, and statute in order to be justified before God. Oh, yeah. And now let me tell you something. So the law is not done away with. This is Romans. Mm -hmm. The law is not done away with. it. He said, for the law is the knowledge of sin. If you don't have no laws, you would not know what sin is. Mm -hmm. You would not know what sin is if you didn't have the law. The laws of God. The commandments of God. Mm -hmm. If you didn't have those, you would not know what thus said the Lord says is wrong to do. Or is right to do. Or what man is doing is wrong. This is what to do. If you have no commandments, you wouldn't know. You got to have the commandments to know. Okay? Now let's go to our next scripture. It is Acts. I mean, go to the 31st verse. 